any other messages? Or otherwise, tell me what was the fun part of, of being here, or the, the interesting experiences, the exotic experiences, good or bad? For me, it was very exotic to just to do, like we did a lot of field work, to do field work in a landscape, and you're walking through all these forests, and it still has this wild touch to it. Like, you can go around the corner, and who knows, there might be a bear standing there. And it's a, it's a very different feeling to walk through this landscape than walk through a landscape at home. And also just to see so many different bird species was very special for me. Many bird species that are threatened in, in our part of Europe. And it was really great to just go through the landscape, to hear all these sounds and to see all these birds. And I think that was really, really a good experience for me. Mm -hmm. I find it most impressive, I think, that these villages, for example, like this where we are now, the more remote villages, they will, they still carry the spirit of real villages. It's like the villages that my, my parents lived in. So all people have a garden, all people have, have a parcel of land and a cow and some sheep. Well, in the villages where, so the village where I grew up, was like such a village a uh, hundred years ago, mm -hmm. but now it's like a almost like a small town. It's a urban little urban center. It's not not a real village anymore, and the people are not working anymore in, in agriculture. So I find it a great experience to to somewhat travel back in time, although it's not a real time travel. Many things have changed already, mm -hmm. but at least the spirit is still there and like part of the tradition is still there. I find that very impressive. Mm -hmm. and to me it's the same. I found it very impressive that uh, I come in Romanian villages without actually speaking the language, so I was always in need for a translator. Um, and sometimes we just knocked randomly at some house doors and people would open the door and I would be introduced, yeah, this is a student from Germany and she has some questions about your village life. And they would just say, yeah, come in, and do you want to have a coffee? Or, you know, I'm just cooking a soup, maybe you want to have some. Whereas if there was a Romanian knocking at the German door, they would probably call the police. So maybe that's exaggerated. But I, I found this very interesting, you know, what kind of prejudices we have in Germany as well. Um, also about Romanians in general. So I think when we come here, that's totally not the Romania that Germany is kind of talking about, right? And also to see this hospitality and that people are really open-hearted and open-minded and watch uh, their stories and at the same time their problems and so on with a total foreigner. So I found this super impressive. For me the fun part is that I come to a village with my super equipment and I still get lost and I get stuck with my car and the farmer with his horse cart laughs about me and uh, even weeks after, later remembers me. <laughs> The girl with the car that gets stuck. Or I think the girl with some the of us got stuck, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the yeah, just to be in this landscape um, is so nice because you you see that there are people, but you don't hear the noise of the road, and you don't necessarily see an electricity pile, and it is it is lovely to see the old tiles and to see the grannies with their broom cleaning in front of their house and taking care of the children, asking where they are going to, for example. I find that where I come from we usually don't really look what the other people are doing and we don't say anything it's like this. And, um, so from the social side I think we can learn a lot. Mm. Thanks a lot. Where will your uh, next projects uh, lead you? In which part of the world? <laughs> Any idea already? Or? Tough question. Um, I mean, I think most of us are not very sure yet where our next project will go. Um, for me, at least, I would like to continue working on the social ecological systems. So I found this relationship between humans and nature and how uh, wildlife and humans can live together, I found it very interesting. So I hope my next project would kind of continue on this path. Same for me. Life is an interesting journey. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm in the same 
Wayne. So for me, this whole, what you explained, the whole systems approach is super interesting. It's very applicable to all kinds of um, yeah, real world problems. So I definitely would continue with my work. Um, yeah, most likely in the governance um, sphere. Um, maybe also related to tenure, to land grabbing, which is another big issue. Um, so God knows where we, you know, we'll all end up after this project. But um, I think it, we have an exciting journey ahead of us. Cool. Hope to see you again around here. You will. Thanks. We hope so too. Thank you.